So it's uh, Saturday, February 11th. Um, got seven days until I get out of here. Seven days until I leave McMurdo Station, Antarctica. I am super excited to get out of here. I'm uh, going to be in New Zealand for about a week when I leave. Um, after that, I'll be going to Washington State. I'll spend about two weeks, and then I am going back to Ecuador. Um, I am burned out. Um, it's just been too long in Antarctica. It's a little windy today, but it is a beautiful day. Um, the ice has melted out a little bit. Uh, we had an icebreaker come in. Um, supply ship followed it and uh, the ice hasn't reformed because it's been so warm here so it's the first time in eight months that uh, we've been able to see the water we've been able to see the ocean so I'm gonna I'm gonna take a little walk down there show you guys what it looks like um, kind of taking a, a last stroll a last walk around the station I don't think uh, this next week as I'm packing up and getting ready to leave that I'm going to have a lot of time to, to look around or time to make another video. Um, so this is it. Here we go. Out there you see the ice pier. Um, when I first showed up this winter, they were just starting to build it. So that is the pier that the ships pull up to and unload all our supplies. Um, I've got some, some video I'll throw into this that shows one of the, one of the ships actually pulled up to it. Um, it's, a, it's a pretty amazing engineering feat. They've had to rebuild it a couple times. Um, some years the uh, the ocean's a little too rough and it cracks. One other time one of the, the ships actually ran into it and cracked it. Uh, but that is a basically big block of ice with, uh, with cables in it and dirt on top. And they drive trucks out onto it to uh, unload the cargo from the ships and uh, bring it into the station. There's a seal swimming around over there. Zoomed way in so you guys can uh, can sort of see him. Oh, there's a couple seals. So there's a little uh, little platform out here to stand on. A spot where I can safely get close to the edge. We're not allowed to just walk down to the water's edge anywhere because it's really easy to get out on a spot where you think you're standing on land and you're actually standing on a thin piece of ice or some land that's been undercut by the, uh, the movement of the ice against it. After seeing nothing but rocks and ice for so long, it is, it's pretty cool to see the water to actually see chunks of ice moving back and forth with the waves. So looking back towards the station, this place is made up of a lot of really, really old buildings. And a lot of them they plan on taking down soon. There's a, there's a big plan to build a new station out here. And uh, it's going to require one by one taking taking down these old buildings, uh, moving whatever essential um, equipment and people that are housed in the building into something else while they uh, while they rebuild. It's kind of a kind of a chess game to keep things operational while demoing existing buildings and trying to build new ones in a place like this. seal is back and a little closer. These little buildings are called fish huts. Um, they're 
actually kind of on a sled. They're able to hook up to it and pull it out onto the ice. They'll, uh, they'll drag these out onto the sea ice when it's thick enough. Um, this particular one, I don't know if you can see it there, but it's got solar panels on top of it. Um, basically, it provides a shelter. Uh, sometimes they'll, they'll use these as a little home base while they're out there studying things under the ice, or studying seals. There's a lot of interesting engineering in this place. All these uh, silver pipes. These are plumbing. Um, we can't put them underground because they just freeze. We keep them above ground. Um, they've got what's called a heat trace. Um, basically it's an electrical system that heats the plumbing so it doesn't freeze solid and then insulation wrapped around it. When I first got here I thought it was all duct work, but uh, that's where, uh, this is actually sewage you see. That's our poop in there. I thought I was going to go for a little bit of a longer walk, but the wind has picked up pretty bad. And it's cold. Uh, my ears aren't too cold. So, uh, I guess I'm going to wrap it up. Um, so that's uh, the last Saturday night here in McMurdo. Next time I uh, talk to you guys, I'll either be making a little video where I'm getting on the plane, or maybe I'll already be in this church. Maybe.